Minneapolis Mayor Betsy Hodges surprised, well, really everyone, when seemingly out of nowhere, she opened up on Facebook about being sexually abused for years while she was growing up. Yeah, she posted that very brief news yesterday morning, but she didn't give a lot of context as to why right now. Why talk about this nearly 40 years after it happened? Well, I can tell you Mayor Hodges had a lot of reasons for why she is talking about this right now. All of them are valid because a survivor of sexual assault needs to have no reason why she or he speaks up when he or she does. A survivor is a survivor no matter her politics or her party. Mayor Betsy Hodges wasn't always mayor, and she won't always be mayor, but she will always be from this night forward a survivor. And right now is when she decided she was ready to talk about it. So why did you share that with the world? Last fall, I met in my office with a young woman, Abby, from the University of Minnesota, who had been, uh, is a survivor of rape there. And she was talking to me about her story. She was talking about her experience with the police. And it was in that meeting that I realized I'm a public figure. I haven't told my story. It would be useful right now if I had because I could have that conversation with her and the seed was planted of, it's time. It's time to talk about it. Because you're the mayor of Minneapolis and you are mm -hmm. running for re-election, there are those who will say this was politically motivated. Mm -hmm. Was this politically motivated? No. It was born out of a lot of years of healing and the increasing understanding, the increasing feeling of, uh, it's, it's time to talk. Looking at that same question from a different lens, could one argue that politics kept you quiet? Yep. Actually, you're the first person to ask me that question. Yeah, I think I always assumed when I was done with politics, I would tell my story um, and that I would be able to be of service then. And I just couldn't wait. It was, it just got to be too big and too important. Yeah, if I hadn't gone into politics, I think I would have been very open about this a long time ago. But I knew there would be blowback. I knew there wouldn't be a good time. And um, you know what, there's not a good time. There's also not a good time to be the survivor of sexual assault. <laughs> So, Rena, you and I have talked about this extensively. Mm -hmm. The why now question, I don't know that we're going to satisfy everyone with no. each answer that we can give, but it was her now. Her right now is when she wanted to do this. And that should be good enough. And that should be good enough for people. She was very clear with me, too, that her family and friends have known this for 30 years. She told her family shortly after, in the years after it happened. And, they, and she has had support privately in that way. Uh, but that she kept having people come into her office, like Abby, and talk about sexual assault in Minneapolis. She has meetings about combating sex trafficking with the Super Bowl coming up. Mm -hmm. She meets survivors all the time, and she felt like she was having this lie of omission, and it was time to join the conversation. Easier, or less seems less dis disingenuous when you can actually talk to someone about your own experience when they're coming to you uh, about something, uh, in, in surviving something like this. It's kind of a kinship that you have with someone else. Um, you have a lot more from her coming up tonight at 10, is that right? Yeah, we're gonna continue this conversation with Mayor Hodges tonight at 10, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about Break the Silence, the Facebook group, the page, the group of people that is out here in the Minneapolis community, the greater Twin Cities community and they are a place where you can break your silence if you so choose, and that's why Mayor Hodges did it in that way first before she came here to CARE 11 to talk to me today. And it's interesting because she made the point that there's no good time, and especially when you're in a political office, someone's always going to accuse you of, of timing, and so there, and she's right, there's no good time, and it's just there's no good time to be a survivor, but she is one now, and she is pushing other people to be able to speak freely and openly, and that's a good thing. Right, because the other yeah. question is, when, when would you like me to talk about this? Right, exactly.